So you guys have seen this in a previous video when I got the package. It's the half-baked cookies and cream, and for anyone interested, it is gluten-free. So first time trying it, I'm gonna give you guys a live taste test. So pretty nice, it thickens up really well, so kind of like a crust powder. Let's try it. Mmm. Very good. Tastes just like your normal cookies and cream. Even has like the cookie bits in there. I don't know if you can see that, but very good. Highly recommend, especially for someone who's gluten free. Again, that's what it is. Magnum. So good. Also, welcome to the full day of eating video. Hopefully you enjoy it. See you guys later. It's another beautiful day here in New Jersey. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. But we got arm day, but we're going to try out this new product from Man Sports. It is their pump product, Blue, Blue Bomb Sickle. I know you guys probably seen this a lot in other videos. Um, I think it was an Instagram post if you were the first like couple hundred to respond, you get a free sample. So we're going to try this out today. Hopefully it works since it's arm day, get a nice pump. That is the plan for today. Never had a product by them, so we'll give it a try. Of course, everything's blowing away. It smells very good. It smells like a blue raspberry popsicle. Taking advantage of this awesome weather. It's like 75 degrees today. Of course, you can't see it since it's red, but that's all right. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. That's good stuff. So, drink this, get in the gym, see you guys there. What's up guys? It is Gina. Gonna do a quick voiceover for this video. It was an arm workout and it was awesome. This is a quick heads up. There is a filter on the workout footage because whatever mode my camera was sent in, everything just came out very white. But again, focusing on triceps and biceps. These were our first working sets, we're just bicep curls, really just working on flexing at the top, and then just some skull crushers, overhead skull crushers here. We're really working on keeping my elbows neutral, not having them out wide, just kind of keeping them straight in as much as possible. Then I did tricep cable pushdowns, and this was a drop set, so I did three sets of ten, backing it down every single time. In the last set I'll show you here right now. This was literally the lowest, uh, I think this was like 15 pounds that I was using now. You, this set you just want to control. So you're gonna do, I did this three times, each time three sets of 10. So that's nine sets. Just control, squeeze at the bottom, flex the triceps and then control the weight on the way back up. You'll really feel it, and I can already tell I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Then I got into some bicep curls here. This was also a superset. I did 10 of the bicep curl. Like this, really squeezing at the top again. And then I did the reverse grip. And this I did right after, another 10. Back down the weight a little bit because this is my weakness. But I did this three times also, so 10 sets with a normal grip, 10, sorry, 10 reps, normal grip, 10 reps, reverse grip. And you'll definitely feel the burn, let me tell you. And then this, I haven't used this machine before, but I definitely like it for tricep pushdowns now. You'll see I lean over pretty far when I do it because I'm trying to really just isolate the triceps instead of incorporating my chest. I want to 
eliminate the use of my chest as much as possible. So I'm leaning over and really just using the triceps. I highly recommend that if you guys need a new exercise for triceps, use a machine like this if you do have it and try to lean forward as much as possible to eliminate any extra uh, use of the chest. This I finished off with biceps, just the bicep curls, but you'll notice that I'm, t curl I'm twisting the dumbbell at the top to get that supination. See, I show you there, your neutral grip, and then the supination there. Your bicep will move, so neutral grip, supination there. And then to finish off triceps, just tricep kickbacks. This was with a 15 pound dumbbell, three sets of 10. Really squeeze at the top, and when you're at the top, don't let your arm just come right back. Try to control it out, control it back. So that's gonna do it for the workout footage. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the rest of the video. What's better than the bagels and peanut butter? The answer is nothing. Right now I'm waiting to pick up the kids from school. And the key for using peanut butter powder, so if you watched a video before when I made the protein pancakes, the protein or the peanut butter powder was very liquidy. You're gonna add more water if you want it to be more liquidy, like syrupy like that, to drizzle over something. When you want it to be thick, like this is, like a real peanut butter spread, then you're going to use very little water, and I mean you just want your the water fal the faucet to be like just dripping with water. Because once you put too much in, then you're kind of screwed. So, I'm going to eat this, but also I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly. For this series, what I try to do is structure my videos a little bit more. That way it's not the same thing every single day. Like one day out of the week, do a full day of eating. Another one maybe is more focused on workouts. One is focused on, you know, maybe a tip for the week. So maybe each video has a, or each day has a certain thing that you're going to see. So like this is a full day of eating. So you guys can see my macros, tracking everything. So that's kind of my plan. I'm going to think about what I can do for each day. If you guys have any ideas, please leave that in the comment box below. It is greatly appreciated. And I realized when I was showing you guys my lunch, audio was not working. So what I was showing you with the my... Uh, macros plus that app that I use I had preset everything that I wanted to eat for the day last night I always do that the night before kind of plan out my meals I do leave a little bit of wiggle room whether you know maybe something's going on in the day and you know when it's, I'm craving a different food or maybe there's an opportunity for me to go out to eat or something changes always leave a little wiggle wiggle room that way you can kind of plan around it all so last night I planned 250 grams of white potatoes well Closest I got was 100 or 247 grams. So what you saw me doing was just going in and easily changing that. And that's why I think my macros plus is a little bit easier to use than my fitness pal. So you guys have any questions, just let me know. It's very easy to go back and get everything to the exact amount that it is. Like I set 250 grams, it was 247. It takes a second to change it, no big deal. Easy way to track. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to eat these now and enjoy this awesome weather. It's like 80 degrees right now. I am wearing a long sleeve because it is cloudy. Obviously, it looks like it's sunny right now, but it is cloudy. It's like a cooler 80 degrees, a little bit of breeze. So, enjoying all this. Again, P28 food. Their products are awesome. Flatbreads, bagels, 
loaf of bread, pancake mixes. Definitely test them out. Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys later for the next meal. What's up guys, time for dinner. It is just about 5.30. Just got back from work a little bit early. I'm gonna show you what I do for food prep and literally it's all it is is chicken. That's as far as I'll go with food prep. Otherwise I just make everything right away. Just preheat your oven to 350. I'm gonna bake a whole thing of chicken, add a few seasonings and I'll show you that. Garlic powder, grilled chicken seasoning. I'll just add those two things, nice and simple. Bake in the oven for probably like five minutes on one side, flip them over, five minutes on the other side, and they're good to go. It's just the uh, chicken tenderloins. Pretty cheap for this. It was $7, so really cheap. Lasts me about a week, easy to do. Got a plain head. So let's see how it comes out. Also, this is meal four now. This is what we have planned for dinner. Chicken, rice, green beans, the dressing again, and some cheese. So, that'll be 40 grams of protein, 60 carbs, and about 11 fat, 500 calories. Love this app. Very good, so all your meals in there. By the way, this steamer is great. It's got holes. You just put everything in there, add water, Put it in the microwave. I already drained it, but drain it. And then, bam. Steamed vegetables. Great if you're in college. Major key. So, final product. Rice, green beans, cheese, chicken, dressing. A little different scenery. I walked to campus library to get some work done because Wi-Fi at home wasn't working so well. And walking in the library, I'm like hit with heat. They've got the heat blasting on there, so I'm actually sitting outside of the Dunkin' Donuts. Hopefully you can hear me. My final meal, and it's only 7 o'clock, but the final meal is going to be oats. Uh, 50 grams of oats with lemon farms chocolate syrup. And at 7 o'clock, I'm eating my last meal. You might think I'm crazy, but I don't mind that. Um, I've got a lot of editing to do, homework to do, and I thought people were crazy when, like, you watch other YouTubers and they say, you know, when they're editing, they just forget to eat. And I'm like, how could you forget to eat? But literally, you sit down, you're doing work, and the next thing you know, like, two hours have passed. So, I just like to get my meals done, and I guess, like, I fast kind of through the night because if I'm done by 7, I don't eat again until about 9 the next morning. So, that's quite a long time to go without food, but I like it. That way, you just focus on work not worry about meal. So I'm going to eat this, work on this video you're watching. I also have another little project I'm working on. It's still in the very, very beginning stages, but I think it'll be very beneficial to a lot of people. So I'm working on that as well as schoolwork and everything. But I'm just going to go over my final macros for the day because I do get a lot of questions on how many calories and all of that. So after these oats, it'll be Exactly 160 grams of protein, 236 grams of carbs, and 41 grams of fat, which would be a total of 1,942 calories, which has been about the range. And I'll go over all that at the end of the week. But I'm gonna finish this, get to work, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Comment down below any questions or concerns you guys have. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again, and as always, have a great week.